Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I got new gloves. You got new gloves. That's garden gloves, right? And I get a basket. With and you get a big in basket. Uh, well, welcome back to our backyard garden. And today, my son and and I, we're gonna we're gonna harvest this own choy here. Uh, as you can see, they are growing quite big now. Uh, they almost over maybe 12 to 14 inches now, and I think we can harvest them. This is our first cut from the time we planted them over, what, six weeks ago? Uh, today is June, what is today's day? June 22nd. Today is June 22nd. And I believe today is the official summer start. I think second day of summer, right? Is it today's the second day of summer? Yeah, no third. I think so. Oh, no third. third, okay, it's fine. Uh, let's really quick recap the weather. The weather is kind of cool and gloomy. See that? Not much sun. No sun, huh? Uh -huh. We're almost in the it afternoon. Looks like, it looks like it's like it's almost rain. 11 though. That's yeah, what, almost like 11. 11. And it's kind of gloomy, the sky. Look at the sky. Look at the dark. This one feels so soft. Yeah. And uh, we're supposed to be, you know, in the high 80 plus degree to 90 oh. degrees. But but the weather turned again. It's kind of like nice, uh, kind of cool. So, so probably going to have a June gloom the rest of the month, maybe. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, um, let's go back and... Oh, guys, you see what Daddy saw here? I see uh, ladybugs there. That's ladybugs. beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Those ladybugs. Things, what are ladybugs? Do you know what are ladybugs? Yeah. yeah. They kill aphids. They kill aphids. That's right. They, they are they are predator. They're little guys. They're little guys. But they come in great numbers and they are, uh, they keep the aphids in the control. Aphids. The aphids is the one that, you that know, destroy plants. destroy the plant and suck all the, the juice out of the plant and then like, kill the plant. Is that the pollen? And no, so the aphids uh, will, will eat the, uh, no, the, the ladybugs will eat, will eat the, the aphids. All right. But I don't think we have any aphids on our own choy. Usually own choy, usually they don't, they don't affect it by aphids. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, most most other plants, the other plants are affected by aphids is or what? Do you think? Can you guess which plants are really? Flowers. No, which kind of plants are affected by uh, aphids? Um, sunflowers. Roses? No vegetable. How about cucumbers? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah cucumbers. Oh, corn. Eight plants. Uh, sometimes corn. Yeah, um, eight plants. Tomatoes. Tomatoes sometimes are affected by aphids and some other uh, bok choy. Hey, the butterfly went on. Right. That the butterfly is on me. That butterfly. This is. I mean, a, I mean, a ladybug. Ladybugs. Well, oh, this is a special looking one, huh? Oh, she can oh. take off. All right, let, let her go. So she's right there. Oh. It's okay. Be careful. It's Don't step on her. Okay, let's 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 uh, let's cut this? our hong choy so we can make a dish today. Okay, we're gonna make a stir fry hong uh, choy today. So can you hold this and daddy cut sure. real quick? Look. So when you're cutting the hong choy, I usually cut way at the bottom as much as i can right here you see that yep. and once we cut them we'll show everybody okay look here can you pull them out when i cut this first one right there yeah hold it bring it take it up show everybody bring it take it up okay don't they look up. beautiful yeah okay then we put them put it put in the basket for daddy now put straight up don't put the head down but put, put it in the basket like that like so yeah and hold a basket for me okay here all right. Oh, you know what? I discovered something funny here. Uh, look at this one. Suddenly, this one is just wilted. I don't know why. I think it had too much. I think it got roasted. Roasted? Maybe it's too hot. You think? Mm -hmm. hmm. No, I think we're getting a lot of we're getting cool weather lately. I, I don't think it's it's the sun. Or well, maybe something happened. Who knows? Right? Yeah, have a good weekend. Yeah, but our own choice are doing very well, as you can see. Uh, they are putting out multiple shoots, you can see here, from the bottom. So Ong Choi has a very complex, um, very vibrant uh, root system. Uh, and then below the root system, they will put out multiple shoots, runners, if you want to call them. Uh, once they put out shoots, straight shoot up like that, the one we just cut, and they will put out more side shoot like this. So it's real good to, to cut them you know, cut them as soon as you can use them, cut them right away and and, and, uh, and use them. And then they'll produce more side shoots. 
okay and that's from that's from my experience and we want to show everybody one more thing can you guys go to the compost bin right there and show me there's something there what's what's something there oh what is that Watercress. look like no if you look if you look at that one right there and look at this one look at this own choice it's the same thing you see that? Yeah. Yeah. That why, is water spinach. Why is it growing in here? You know why? What's that? No, that's just that's just uh, oh. So this own choy here, uh, like we mentioned in uh, one of our video, uh, we pull them out from that old, from that old, uh, from this, from this right here. Uh, and we pull them out, and we compost it right here in here. But the root system, everything is still alive, obviously. Uh, as soon as there's moisture and nutrients, they will regrow. So, this uh, we put our, co so, our uh, compost in here. Yeah, so this is all compost, including some soil. But have a look at this. Look at they are growing just as good or just as well as our regular container over there. So, own choice. Um, are very resilient. They are tough, tough vegetable. As long as they get the moisture, uh, and as long as they get some water and moisture and and, and and the right conditions, they will continue to proliferate. So be careful if you're going to grow them in some kind of water stream or any kind of lakes. Uh, be very careful uh, because this this vegetable can be very noxious and they. They can be very invasive if you uh, grow them in. What does invasive mean? Oh, good question. Invasive mean mean they can take over everything. Invade, you know. It's the toughness. Yeah, they tough and they invade. They invade all the other plants. I mean, they take over the yeah, entire it's habitat. Do you, you get that invasive? Yeah, it's like invasion it's... is that the same thing as in invasion? Oh, I've heard of that word. Yeah. Okay. It's it's fuzzy. Fuzzy. Things like innovate. Yeah. All right, so we're going to continue to go back here and uh, harvest our own choy. Uh, so we're going to use them for lunch today, right? We're going to yeah. stir-fry for lunch today. Oh, and we also, what did we do? We cut we cut some millibar spinach too today. Yeah, we used some, uh, we cut some of the green one it and the red one. And, and we harvest garden. some, what's that? Some in our garden too. Oh, yeah. And we harvest some lettuces. Remember that? Yeah. All right. It's so good. All right, so you want to show everybody one more thing? You were telling me something about the flowers? Yeah. Yeah, they feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? To the touch. Did you touch it? And they feel smooth. What kind of flowers are this? Um, California poppies. Wow, you guys are really good with this, huh? Yeah, they are They are native to California. I mean, they were here before us. They, they come from California desert because they love the hot and very humid and hot desert condition and they are drought tolerant. What does drought tolerant mean? I have um, no idea. Drought mean what? It means really hot? Yeah, they don't need much water. Oh. They can, you know, human we need a lot of water, right? Oh, so we, like don't, so we yeah. don't stay hydrated. Hydrated. That's right, but this, oh, this puppy here, right. they are very drought, drought tolerant, meaning they can stand yeah. the, the, without being, being water, all right? Dinger doesn't need water because it gets water okay. from the seeds it eats. All right. So, okay. Well, want to say goodbye. Bye-bye. I think bye. our video is long enough. Well, thank you for watching. And we're going to go back and, and harvest some more of our own choy. Uh, and please tell everybody to what? Subscribe to our channel? Subscribe to our channel and uh, leave a like. Leave a like. Wow. Thumbs up and leave a like and post a comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Happy summer.